What's a museum? The dictionary tells us that the museum is a building in which objects of cultural, artistic, historical and scientific interest and importance are displayed. So what is a biomuseum? A biomuseum is a natural sanctuary in which a variety of plant species is preserved. So let's visit a biomuseum. A mangrove forest, a kind of a sacred grove, but right in the heart of the arid plains of Kutch. Standing majestically and defiantly in the run of Kutch, these are no ordinary trees. An undiscovered living biological museum. Actually, a forest island of mangroves, the likes of which cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Popularly known as Shravan Kavadiya, this tract of land houses genetic strains and variability thousands of years old. But this magical realm belies all facts as far as mangroves are concerned. Growing to incredible heights of 30 to 40 meters, this expanse of lush green flora is found to exist nearly 200 kilometers away from the sea. An amazing phenomenon when one realizes that mangroves are a species that develop essentially near the sea and normally grow only to marginal heights. Yet this in itself does not completely explain the significance and uniqueness of these mangrove forests. Perhaps the most intriguing feature of this jungle lies in its existence right in the middle of the bleak desolate, salt-flecked plains of Kutch. The basic question that then arises is how and why do these mangroves exist so far away from the sea and that too within the arid landscape of Kutch? The answers we found were as incredible as the mystery itself. Perhaps the genesis of this diversity lies in the geological evolution of the landmass. Probing the geological past of the region, we found that Kutch had a history of great seismological changes. One such change was a gradual drying up of freshwater lakes and the seeping in of salty water in its place. And the result? the run of Kutch transformed into a marshy and saline landscape. In fact, following the earthquake of 1819, an area of nearly 200 square miles became an inland sea, perhaps suggesting the reasons for the genesis of this mangrove belt. Yet the development of the place suggests otherwise. The evidence from the growth of these trees suggests an existence of more than 5,000 years. Yet another feature of this jungle lies in the mythological value attached to this area. <laughs> Whatever the reasons behind the growth and development of this enigma, the fact remains that this living biomuseum could give us new insights into this unique ecological phenomenon.